okay so you can see that i've got my original my second generation marker here my original marker so um this is my coral three and i'm just going to color my page so you can see here my coral three is completely and totally gone i've got a little bit of moisture in there but zero color because i've used it a lot you can see the colors starting to even fade off the nib i've worn it all the way out you can see there's a little hint of what it should have been but it's not working well it's not working at all there's no color in it i'm taking my coral 3 refill which is the new ink formulation from the new ink new color families for the new classic marker and i'm going to put this into my second generation marker so to do that i did that quickly let me just show you what i did i'm going to point it down here for you i'm going to take out my chisel nib so i just get a hold if you've got a dark colored ink you might want to protect your fingers get some plastic gloves some tissue whatever it is plastic bag but just pull out your nib and that leaves the top of the pen open i'm going to stand this in front of me so you can see face on what i'm doing because the pen's a little bit tall for you to see it there there we go fabulous so you can see the marker and i'll hold a little bit of white card behind so you can see what i'm doing as well i'm organized i'm then going to take the lid off of my alcohol refill and first i'm going to show you i've got a beautiful fine detailed glass pipette in there so i can get really detailed application of my ink into the marker you can see that brilliant lovely so i'm going to fill this up with some ink and then i'm going to push this into the marker there and i can feel the inside the soft inside where the ink needs to go and then i'm just going to gently squeeze the ink into the marker and because this is a completely empty marker i'm going to do two or three pipettes full now um just so you know markers have four grams of ink inside and refill bottles have 30 grams of ink which means that you can refill your marker from completely empty seven times with one bottle of ink which works out at about um 70 pence a refill or a dollar a refill which is fantastic value for money um and if you're not letting your pen go completely dry because i very rarely let my pens go completely dry like this what i usually do is as it starts to get a bit squeaky and i can feel that the ink starting to not flow as fantastically as it did what i'll then do is just keep topping it up and i can get a top up of my markers to about 30 times with one of those ink refill bottles so it ends up being really good value for money now what i'm going to do and what will happen is this um, marker point here will touch the inside and the ink will start to flow back down now see i've overfilled it a little bit there do you see how it just popped out so i put a little bit too much in but if you don't put in as much as that so it just runs out i was trying to be careful so i could get it to show you but you'll keep moving it so it runs through here we go and it'll fill your chisel nib now what i will do what i shouldn't have done is tip it straight up to show you i should have just left it like this to soak in and then it wouldn't have run out and when you leave it to soak in it soaks into all of the fibers inside and then it's perfect so we're going to leave that for a couple of minutes and come back to it in a second you won't rush it like i've just done so don't tip your marker up <laughs> 